Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Wolf Den Farm. Oh, look at all those chickens. Look at them. Oh, how's my girls? How is my girls? Doop, doop, doop. Hey, Fire, Firehawk, you're gonna, you're gonna get stepped on, Firehawk. That's not for you. That's not for you, Red. That's for the piggies. All right, here we go. What we got? So, Cotton Eye Joe over there. Where's Hoppy Dink? I don't know where Hoppy Dink is. Probably in here somewhere. Usually goes to bed early. Probably because he can't walk very well. Oh, you're over there. What are you guys doing? Chilling. They're like, oh, wait for everybody to go to bed. We came to bed early. All right, a little treat for the piggies here. Some jello. I made for Jen. She ate a little bit of it. Okay, I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Don't touch the pets. Don't touch the pets. Don't touch the pets. <laughs> Bye, Bloobs. Mom. Mom. Yeah, everybody wait your turn. Wait your turn. Hey. Yeah, you missed the food. You were all up in your brother's junk, and you missed the food. Hey, Bloobs. Hey, it's my girl. Hey, Dox. Hey, it's my boy. Yeah, yeah, you know. The, the little ones, they're a little bit greedy. Yeah, he got the piece and he still complained. Okay. You get that one. You get that one. Boobs. Booby. Come here, sweetie. Whoa, try that. How's this taste? Try that. Uh, <laughs> How is my load? It's cold. Uh, as a pro tip, I would not advise you walking up to a random pig and putting your fingers in their mouth uh, like I'm doing here. But because I've been hand feeding them the whole time I've had them, they know that I'm feeding them and they won't bite my hand. But if you were to walk up to a random pig and put your fingers in their mouth, they would 100% bite your hand. Yes. Yes, they would. Would you like some? Would you like some? Yeah, no. yeah. You could see she wouldn't even grab my hand there. She waited for me to put it in her mouth. Yeah, how's my boy? Even my boy socks. They're also exceptionally good at eating from forks. Which is not a typical piglet uh, trait. There you go, Bob. There you go. You want a little bit? Hold on, I got some for you. I didn't run out. Don't worry. Okay, there you go, Socks. What do you got, Bloobs? What do you got, Bloob? That was her, uh... Oh, hi. Yeah, have some jello. I'm watching. Okay. Uh, I don't know what she saw over there, but she made a noise like she heard something. Hi. Hi. Uh, we do have predators around, including coyotes. 
fox, bobcats, bears, the occasional mountain lion. Mountain lions aren't around here. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Uh, neat fact, uh, also mountain lions in Connecticut, where we're from originally. We moved up here. Oh God, it's been a while. 15 years ago, no, not 15 years ago. Well, maybe 15 years ago, dear Lord. And my wife, part of her job, over to someone's house one day. She went to walk up to the door. And there was a mountain lion under the porch. She was like, I heard a funny growling sound. I didn't realize what it was until I looked under the porch and I slowly backed away. <laughs> it was a good call, honey. <sighs> Oh, so socks. So we are not trying while eating socks. All day for that. All day for that. Hey, Brewster. I filled the bin. This bin is now full. Uh, the stuff on the ground there was the very bottom of the bins. Because if you see the bins have those feet, uh, the feet are actually hollow. So food gets stuck in there. So I always dump the bin. Fully out. Stop, stop being annoying. Uh, always dump it on the ground and give the chickens the bottom. You don't want old stale food in there. Uh, I don't wash them out. Uh, I haven't had any water pro intrusion problems, so I don't wash them. I've never had mold in the bins um, since we've been doing this since last year. So we've been through, ba you know, been through almost the whole. A whole year and we've been through the rainy season we've been through the damp summers hot humid summers haven't had any issues so i do really like those bins i don't really need to do that for him anymore we was doing it because his leg was injured but as you can see he's moving around quite fine uh you can also see over here this is the new farrowing huts base Just put that in over the last few days. Yes, I'm taking time lapse of it. I'm actually editing the first part of doing all that now. Unfortunately, that's going to stay there like that for a week or so because I'm taking my son to Indianapolis to watch some drag racing, which is going to be fun. That's his uh, graduation present for high school. Taking a road trip with dad. But uh, that's rebarred in, so uh, they can't move it. Uh, there's 22 pieces of rebar through that 4x6 into the ground, which should be enough to uh, prevent them from moving it. Uh, I'm sure that they're going to dig out the front a little bit. That's okay. We'll fix that with the tractor when we come back. I'm going to put some more rock probably along the front. I'm going to take all, well, not all, but a lot of the big rocks that are down there, anything smaller than a beach ball, like... I'll take, I leave that one there so they don't bump the side, but that size, you know, I can grab those with the tractor, bring them up, stack them in there, put some more rock on them, and that'll keep that edge from eroding away or from then digging into it. And, uh, and the next, not this coming weekend, it is uh, Monday right now. I'm going to be gone because the racing's over the weekend. The following end of week, I will be working on it. So, we'll be sure to post time lapse of all that as well. But I gotta get it done because we're gonna have some piglets here. Uh, based on when these little guys were born, the ones we have now, they were born in the middle of January. Uh, the females can get pregnant uh, uh, as soon as a week after they give birth. Now, there wasn't any mating going on uh, that I'm aware of um, in the, for at least two weeks after, but they definitely made it at least three weeks after, which puts that in the first week of March. And it's three weeks, three months, three weeks, three days for pigs. So if we go end of January as a worst case scenario, that is February, March, April, and to May. Well, coming up on May, aren't we? 
So end of May, beginning of June, we're going to have more piglets, which will be good because they'll be, it'll be better to have them now, but they'll still be, they'll still be big before winter's over. And then we'll have more piglets uh, in the winter, which will then get big. It's a cycle. It's a cycle. Yeah. Right, Brewster? Yeah. We get three batches of piglets per year. We'll probably sell a whole bunch of them to other people who want piglets. And whoever wants us to raise them uh, until, you know, they, they get turned into bacon, uh, we'll do that. Brewster. Brewster has been a very needy rooster. Hey, don't, don't. What are you doing? What are you doing? You know, I was just about to say something nice about you on camera. Yeah, I was just about to say you've been an awfully good rooster and needy and human-y recently. Wanting to come inside, hang out. But here you are, chasing girls on camera. <sighs> Hi, ladies. That's, uh... Bert, uh, that is uh, Discount Raven, that is Speckles, and Arsenio Hall. Uh, they've been taking turns sitting on eggs. It's actually super good that they're taking turns because now I'm pretty sure we're going to get some hatchlings. You guys are sitting on the eggs, right? We're going to see some little babies soon. Yeah, that would be good. Are you sitting on egg? I think she might be sitting on an egg there. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I don't really care. As long as they hatch the chickens. Um, we have 40-ish chickens right now. Uh, I say ish because I don't I don't actually do a head count all the time. We just there just is chickens and the number fluctuates throughout the year. So I do have some old ones. Um, so actually the Brahmas right there, the two black Brahmas over there, uh, they are going probably along with Oreo, who's right here, uh, because they're older. Not going like we're going to murder them. That's not what's happening. Uh, they're going as in a farmer is coming to pick them up. Uh, some farmers will take older chickens. You guys don't need new dust holes. You guys have plenty of dust holes. Uh, but some farmers will take them for horses and cows and put them in with them to control the flies. So that is a good secondary use for anybody raising chickens. If you have horse farms around you, cattle farms, the chickens will eat obviously all of the flies and their larvae lovingly known as maggots to other people uh, and keep that fly problem down. They obviously can't solve the problem. There's too many of them, uh, but they can make stable living a lot more enjoyable if you have stable chickens. So that's what we do. So a couple of our old girls will go there and help that guy out. Yeah, you don't know it, but he's coming to get you tonight. Yes, he is. He's going to get you tonight. They're gonna be happy. They all hang out with the pigs, so they use slide animals. I already fed you guys. Look at this. Look, at this. it's because I'm carrying this. Uh, this particular bowl has this handle. They hear that clinking because we've always used those to feed them. I don't think there's eggs in here. I grabbed the eggs in here earlier today. Scrooge. That was out here doing some stuff. Got a table in there. Gonna bring another table out because we need to bring the plants we have in our greenhouse out into there because we need to start new plants. Yes, we gotta start some beets. We gotta start some beets. Oh, I have all this fencing I need to put away. The camper's going away. We got water intrusion. I think in the wall, probably the rear one. I, I, I don't know how, <sighs> but the floor is ruined inside, which is awesome. 
went in there to dewinterize it. Stepped on the floor, floor soft. Pulled up section of the floor, because I'm a handy guy. I can replace a floor, it's not a big deal. Just pull up some linoleum, pull out the bad plywood, replace it. Now keep in mind, I went in there and it doesn't smell at all. Like there was water in there. Like I actually walked in the main area and the floor was fine there. Or at least I thought it was fine. And it was okay. And then I went in there again and I stepped in the bedroom and the floor was really soft. And I was like, oh, that's not, that's not good. That's not good. So I tore a section of it up. It's destroyed. Somehow water got under the floor. So like in two spots, which is why I'm 99% sure it's one of the two walls. Because it's the bathroom is soft, which is on this side of the camper. Now, some people will say, oh, it's the bump out. But no, because if it was the bump out, the floor in the kitchen and the dining room would have been destroyed. But it wasn't. The floor, the floor in the bathroom is destroyed. The bump out is clean, like dry. Even the part where the bump out doesn't cover, it's clean and dry. Like So there's like a bad section, a good section, and a bad section. So I don't know if the corners are leaking. I don't know. I don't know, but it's just, I'm pretty sure it's going to get totaled. Pretty sure it's going to get totaled, chicken, because the water got in between the two frames that make up, that make up the camper. I'm waiting for the insurance company to tell me what they're going to do. Yeah, there's Piggy. Oh, yeah, like she's never eaten before. Like you've never eaten before. Atlas cameo. Hey, Atlas. You want to say hi to your peoples? You want to say hi to your peoples? Yo, you good boy. Boop. There's Wrigley. Wrigley cameo. You guys messed up your mat again. Great job. I only fix that thing like all the time. And it always looks almost exactly the same because you run off the porch. Run off the porch like a retard. Because that's what you are. Alice uh, brought all those containers outside. They clean those up. Yo. Yeah. There's our neighbor's golden. She's hilarious. She knows we're over here. That's why she's barking. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's a dog barking over there. My neighbor's house. She is a, she is 100% golden. All right, guys, we got to go. We got to go inside, but we're going to film you guys again in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Uh, leave comments. Uh, what do you want to see more of? What do you want to see less of? Uh, what do you want to hear me talk about more? What do you want to hear me talk about? Maybe you don't want to hear me talk at all. Put that in the comments. Thanks, guys. I'll uh, see you tomorrow.